such an exciting time when a brand new year comes in, right? It's like, oh my God, yes, we've got resolutions. We're going to do new things. We're going to make it different from last year. But will 2022 be different from the last two-year gong show we've gone through? Well, to find that out, you're going to have to stay with me, peeps. I just want to give people a place to go to get information. I want them to enjoy learning about Qi and how it's easy to learn about it and affect change in your own life. So Qi Pro is here for the curious seekers and for the professionals looking to get ahead. It's the bottom line. I want to empower people with information because the one thing that can't be taken from you is your knowledge. Alrighty, what's new in 2022 and do we have a Tiger King? Yeah, you know me, I love to play those words. And in some respects, we do have a Tiger King, but not the reality show kind. So I want to dive in and give you all the deets you need to know about 2022. And that's kind of hard to say, by the way, so I'm just going to call it 22. So a lot of food to, for thought about this whole Tiger coming in. What does it mean? Well, is 2022 better than 21 or even 20? Hell yeah. We've had two years of confusion, overload, and being stuck. And thank God those years are receding. In fact, they're more than receding. They're off. They're buggered off now. We have a new leader of the pack. As each year, metaphysically speaking, we have an animal leader and an element viewpoint. So I want you to think of this. If you're new to me, I want you to think of this as just markers of time where you might say the year is 2022. I'm going to say, yeah, it is, but it's also a tiger year. It's a specific tiger, a water tiger year. You might say it's March. I'm going to say it's rabbit month. You could say it's 9 a.m. I'm going to call it by something different. It's all markers of time, okay? Now, 22, 2022 is Run Yin, which is Yang Water Tiger. This is powerful, peeps. This is not quiet. This is no longer sit down. Do as you're told, be quiet, follow someone else's rule. Nope, the tiger doesn't play by other people's rules. So how will this tiger help us? Well, he's vibrant, he's powerful, he's fierce, and he takes no prisoners. So in the global markets, we'll see him stalking new territories and staking claim to the throne of power. Yeah, a play on words, I get it. But I'm not a financial person, so I can't actually speak to all the markets. But what I can say is the tiger is going to be turbulent. This will be a year of turbulence in the financial markets. We're going to see sharp up, sharp down, sharp step to the side and back, other side and back. It's just going to be all over the place. Now, what that will bring to us, though, is actually freedom. Why? Well, the tiger is one of the four traveling animals out of the 12 Chinese animals. So remember, 12 animals means 12 months. That's really what we're talking about. They're markers of time and each month is different. But what this Yang water tiger brings forward in 22 is movement. Okay. So we will gain our freedom to travel. We will regain our personal freedom of choice and we will find our own roar that makes others sit up and notice us. Yes. Will it be a smooth transition? (laughs) Hell no. No, it will not. The elements within 22 are all yang, and this will make for an action-packed year. It's a bit like a, you know, a big movie from The Rock or someone like it. You're going to be on the edge of your seat, biting your nails, wondering what's coming next. So it's, you know, it's kind of like if, you, if you're watching an action movie, is it all rainbows and unicorns? You know, there's little bits in there, right? There's little moments in there, but it's not like that. It's quite pivotal. It changes. It's abrupt. You know, the cinematographers change their viewpoint quickly in an action movie. This is our year. Okay, it's my point exactly. So what's in store for us then? Well, I think if I had to give you one word, I would give you turbulence. Now, before you say, oh my God, Sam, it's a bad word. It's a bit awful, isn't it? A bit negative. No, you're looking at it the wrong way. If we don't create turbulence, we stay the same. And oh my God, we cannot be the same as we've always been, right? We just cannot go through any more of the last two years. So I want you to think of it like this. Your soccer kit or your kid's soccer kit has grass stains and mud stains all over it. And you're wondering if you'll ever get it clean. Hmm, what to do? Well, 
Hello, washing machine, with its rotating drum that swishes everything back and forth, up and down, left and right, as it works its magic, as it turbulently goes through its wash cycle. Hmm, are you picking up what I'm putting down? Yep, we have to cause turbulence to release all the shite and remove it. There is no other way. There just is no other way here. We have a big cleaning cycle ahead of us. So what moves do we make in 22 then? Well, the key word for this bit is actually in my little, you know, subtitle, my sentence there, moves. Do not stand still. Do not be quiet. Do not shy away from change. And biggest of all, do not deny who you really are. This is a year where you need to tap into the strength and the fierce nature of the water tiger and understand you have to take action. We all do. As you put yourself first through your personal rinse cycle, you will loosen stuff that has bogged you down. This won't be easy, peeps, and I expect you'll fight it. In fact, I know you will. I've been doing the same thing. No, 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 my friend. No fighting allowed. So I've both also been asked, will, there be, will this be emotional then, Sam? Like if you're talking about all this washing, cleansing, cleaning up, will it be emotional? Will it be unstable emotionally? Definitely unstable. But let's define unstable. Again, if you want everything to stay the same, sure, go ahead, bury your head in the sand and cross your fingers behind your back while you're at it because you're going to need to. Mm. Don't you want to do that? Not your thing? Don't want to try that? All right, now I've got something to work with then. You see, the yang water aspect of our Renyin tiger is incredibly strong water. And water is our emotions, our wisdom, our internal safety zone. Well, guess what? Your safety zone is about to be rocked. And I love it for you. Yeah, I know, sounds odd. You're probably thinking, what the heck, Sam has lost her marbles. No, she hasn't. She's put them through the rinse cycle and knows we've got to go in a different direction. Through the pain that you will experience is incredible growth. No one ever advanced walking the tried, true and safe path. It looks easier. Books say we should do that. In fact, you know, I was thinking about this the other day. Someone said to me, well, isn't the right path the easier path? You know, don't you know you're on the right path because it's easier, Sam? No, it doesn't work that way. I wish it did. <laughs> I wish I could tell you for sure, oh, the easy path is always the right one. It's not because your ego gets in the way. Your path is your path. And every path is going to have rocks, pebbles, potholes, cracks, all sorts of things in it. And how you experience those is your story. But if you're looking for that beautifully paved, smooth path, so you can just walk gently along. Well, I love that for you, but I gotta be honest, it's a much more interesting life when you find an interesting pebble or see a crack that looks like something, a visual of some kind. So don't go for the easy path. Go for the path that calls you. Go for the path that feels right. Because as you walk it, as you dare to step down that path, it might be rocky and bumpy at first, but as you get into the rhythm of it, it will smooth out because then it is right for you. But what I'm saying is don't look at the two paths that you could have in front of you or maybe three and think, well, that one looks the easiest. So I should take that. Should you? Hmm. I think not. All right. You've got to let go of the handrails of life because once in a while you need to do this to experience the freedom of what could be. Not what should be, what could be. You've got inner demons to deal with this year. We all do. And our tiger will courageously assist us so we can finally be free. Now, if we consider tech industries, I mean, I know I'm going through this fairly fast, but this is a podcast. You're probably out for a walk. I'm just going to give you the highlights here. You want more? Come find me and we'll have a chat. So what industries will advance in 22? Well, it's going to be similar to what we've already experienced because something happened about a year and a half ago that opened a door to where we're going, to our future. And that now that door's been opened, it's just going to get bigger. So in, se in some ways, it's very similar. We're going to have the same tech, the same online sales education, delivery, delivery industries will continue to excel. 
Um, logistical transportation remains strong, although they may be affected by real water disasters affecting their routes or blockages, things going wrong. Um, insurance companies, well, they're still going to pull in the big money. So if you're in that realm, you're going to do well. And if, by the way, if you're not in one of the realms I talk about, if you're not in one of the industries that I'm, I'm saying are going to be, uh, continue to grow and be big, well, maybe you can connect with them, right? You don't actually have to be in that industry, but just connect with it. Because if they're going to ride the gravy train, well, hop on it, okay? What can you create for them? How can you partner with them? How can you work with them? Because they're the ones making the money this year. Oh, on the insurance thing, I have to say, ugh, our premiums are going to skyrocket because we've still got issues with cyber hacking. So we saw this last year. We saw big companies. We saw government sites taken down, right, or breached. Now, they're all fixed. I know everyone's on it real quick, but the fact is the breach has occurred. And we're going to continue that. But what's going to change this year is we actually slide into uh, more personal identity theft. Okay, you really got to watch that. So take the time to secure your computer, secure your banking, all the things you need to do. Be aware. And for God's sake, be aware of what you're sharing online. Don't do those quizzes on Facebook. I know it seems funny, but they're getting your personal information. Okay, stop it. Stop doing those things. You're giving away information you shouldn't be. Now, the real breakthrough, though, the one that sort of, I was going to say excites me, but I'm not in, in this industry, so I don't know why. But the real breakthrough is in medicine, because we're going to move from vaccines, still awesome, by the way, to pills. Yep, the pharma giants are going to reap in major rewards, and there's nothing we can do because we need this medicine. They've kind of got us by the short and curlies. Now, how I'll describe this metaphysically is last year was something called Shinchu. Shinchu was yin metal ox. And if I were to break down all the things in there, and I did do that last year in the blogs and podcasts, so you can go back and you can listen to those and read those. I talked about the fact that this shin, this delicate metal, would be a needle, and vaccines just took off like crazy, right? Well, this year, it's not the same year. This year, it's Run Yin. So Run Yin is the yang water I've talked about. Yin is the tiger. And the tiger has lots of wood in it, amongst other things. So we know that medicine is going to become a really big play. And the run, the yang water, is basically represents distribution. Um, water covers the entire planet, right? So this is going to be global distribution. Global distribution of medicine. Doesn't mean it will get to everyone. We're still going to have the haves and the have-nots. We've still got countries who are really going to suffer because they don't have the money to buy this stuff. And I'm hoping we work together to make sure this stuff gets out there. But the bottom line is we're going to move from vaccines to pills. And it's, it's probably a good thing. We cannot keep up the vaccine stuff. You know, I think it's just not sustainable. Um, there'll probably be a yearly vaccine they come out with now, but we can't keep doing boosters. I mean, I'm for them. Don't get me wrong. I am actually for all of this. It's just not sustainable. So we're going to see a shift and it's going to happen this year. So the big question that's on everyone's mind is, well, Sam, does COVID end in 22? No. Yeah, I know. I could have sugarcoated that, but why would I do that? It's you and I talking here. You know me well enough by now. COVID will continue outwitting us all the way until 2024. Ah, but all is not lost. Our fierce tiger will reduce COVID's potency to a manageable position. And those pills will flood the market to counteract what it does next. So yeah, my voice is a little bit doomy gloomy there. No, it's not going to end, but we're going to learn to live with it now. Okay, we are. We're just going to learn to live with it and we're going to make it work because it is our future or this type of thing is our future. So we learn right? We learn, we evolve. It's not the end of the world, but the fact is it's not going away just yet. Now, considering that, how will the financial markets be then? Turbulent, okay? Turbulent. The tiger is a stealthy animal. He stalks, he pounces, he retreats, he pounces again. And that is how the stock market will be. If you dare to play the game, you can ride the tiger's tail and make great gains. However, when a cat swishes its tail, it's not always a happy cat, is it? Don't say I didn't warn you. Be ready to get in quick and get out quick. If you're going to play the markets, you need to know what you're doing this year. They're going to be volatile. But like anything, now you know you can approach it differently. I am not a financial person. I cannot tell you where to invest your money. I'm trying to give you a heads up that nothing is for sure this year. 
okay? Nothing. The tiger will change direction when the tiger feels like it. Now, our tiger is a land-based animal, and that touches into real estate turbulence too. So if you're selling, it's great. If you're buying, not so great. The problem is it's not a year for indecision. You're going to have to pounce if you see something you want. Now, the real estate market is tough. I sit here and watch it, and I think, how the hell can it keep going up? And it does. I don't understand how it keeps going up because I, don't, I just don't know how young people are going to get um, into the market. I don't know how people on fixed incomes are going to do this. I'm making some changes this year and I'm looking thinking, holy shit, I don't even know where to begin because it's such a bit of a schmozzle out there. So if you're going to dive into this market, you have to do it with courage. Okay, You cannot be indec- indecisive or you wait it out or you wait it out. Again, I'm not a real estate an analyst. I can't tell you for sure. But we do seem to be in a bit of a bubble and there's a point when a bubble just can't get any bigger. So something has to shift, possibly the second half of the year. I think we'll still see things flooding in. I think we'll still see people making multiple offers, really moving quickly. I don't know that they're right to be doing that, but that is what we will see. Now, astrologically speaking, that's always what I get asked is, is this a good or a bad year for me, Sam? Well, it depends on your birth date. If you're born with a tiger in your birth date, technically, this is your year and all eyes will be on you. Question is, will they be on you for the right reasons? Hmm. If you're born with a monkey in your birth date, they say the year is against you. But do they know what they're talking about? So that's kind of a clash. So when, if you're born year of the monkey or have a monkey in your chart, it means you're clashing with the year. It's opposite. The monkey and the tiger are opposite each other. But maybe you'll have the biggest breakthroughs because you're clashing. I personally love clashes. They mean change. And there are many, many ways to determine how your year will be. It's not a one swipe fits all. So what I'm going to recommend you do is if you want to know more about astrology, there's two ways to go about it pop to my website and download the free 2022 Feng Shui and Astrology Life Guide. I've got basics of Feng Shui in there and I've got basics of astrology. But if you want more, then reach out to me and we'll actually do an update for you for the year because that's where I personalize it and we dig into your your health, your wealth, your uh, relationships, career, all sorts of things. But there's a lot you can do for free, so just go to the site and grab the information there. So, With astrology, people then say, well, what about feng shui? Can you just tell me sort of generically what I should and shouldn't do this year? Well, I can. So yes, but it's a bit, it's a bit tough because we need to see your home, but there are some key areas that you shouldn't touch. Again, they're in that free guide. So go, go grab it. Um, You don't need to print it. Just download it to your computer. I've laid everything out there. I've even shown you how to work out how to do it in your house. Okay. Now, if we do a quick recap here, as we come to the end. What are we going to say about 2022? Well, it's a year to make change and move. No standing still this year. You just can't do it. We stood still for the last two years. That time is over. This time is now. You're going to experience personal breakthroughs. You gotta. It's time. I know it's going to be painful. I know. Okay, on any level, whatever you're dealing with, because we're all dealing with something, it's going to be painful, but through that will come exponential growth. Take courage from the tiger to be the real you. I want to hear your roar, not somebody else's that you've been told to emulate. Your roar. Put fear aside. Now, if you're following my blogs, you know I've talked about the word fear quite a bit lately. Put it aside. It has no purpose in your world anymore. We no longer can live with this fear mandate above us. And last but not least, be ready for the unexpected. A tiger likes to surprise. So look at that as the positive. You know, it's so funny to me because people will say, oh, well, what, what if, what if, what if that goes wrong, Sam? I mean, what if that doesn't work for you? And I'm like, and what if it does, right? You got to, it's mindset and perception. You've got to turn it around. We know 2022 is going to be turbulent. We know it's going to have unexpected moves, but couldn't they be great, Right. We just, we have our mindset stuck back in the past, what we've dealt with for two years. We need to change that. This could be great. This could be the making of you. 
2022 is an exciting year. Yes, it will challenge us. We will face adversity, but we will overcome it as the overwhelming aspect of the last two years is over. It's behind us. Only if you choose to step back in time and stay there, will you be stuck. As someone who is facing massive changes in so many areas of my life, I can tell you that I'm ready. I'm ready to change my viewpoint. I'm ready to stalk my prey. And I'm ready to pounce on what it is I want. The only question I have for you is, are you ready to roar?